And once again, a standing ovation for an inspirational performance. Our next finalist is certainly no stranger to tenacity and overcoming the odds as well. In 94, this gentleman had to have nine tendons reattached in his upper arm after a serious accident. Making a comeback like this is absolutely outstanding. This is Sean Roden, 24 years old, from Germantown, Maryland. Sean meets the MPC criteria very well, Tommy. The only thing I'd like to see him do is to get a little sharper. Look at his legs. You have full muscle bellies. You can see the separation in the muscle, but it should be sharper and clearer. This is a very tough class to try to come in here and give away any advantage to any athlete. Steve, a lot of the athletes do talk about retaining water. In an event like this, when you travel as far as Maryland to New York or from Boston, you're bound to retain water. But what exactly does that mean and how does it affect the physique? With a film of water over any kind of muscle between the layer of skin, the top of it, Tommy, it washes it out. Can't help but notice he's a very talented athlete. Last finalist in the light heavyweight division is certainly outstanding. He has one of the most muscular physiques in the midsection I've seen in a long time. Jeff Willett, at 25 years old, is certainly dominating what he can do with his own physique. He has finished ninth in this contest. He is definitely not going to be there today. He has a great shot at winning his class and, I would say, the overall title. He has the muscularity, the definition, the symmetry, that total package, Tommy, we talked about earlier. It just flows. It's good to look at, and his presentation is excellent. Steve, he brought a lot of fans with him. Over 18 people came from Adrian, Michigan to support him and cheer him on in this event. I do have one question, though. His tan, is it dark enough? He certainly looks muscular here, but under those bright lights, next to some of the other darker competitors, is he going to be able to look as defined? That's a very good point, since most athletes, if they step off stage, they say, wow, you are so dark. But then you hit them with 50,000 watts of light, it washes them out. You and I both know that a tan is critical because it shows up clear delineation within the muscle. He has enough muscle to pull it off by itself. Is it healthy for the skin for a bodybuilder to be under the sun or under the hot tanning lights for so long? Or is there a shortcut to getting some of these deep tans? Well, you need a natural tan as a base. However, there is a theater makeup that bodybuilders use, and it's called a pro tan. And the best thing about it is it absorbs the light. It doesn't reflect it, so you don't wash out. Man, the outstanding physique of Jeff Willett. The audience is really revved up at this stage of the competition, particularly as they see all five of the finalists in the light heavyweight division take the stage. They are fantastic, and this could be a battle here in this pose down, Steve. Jeff Willett jumps right up in a frontal bicep, now into a side chest, which is a great shot for him, next to Sean Roden. He knows he has to compete against Willett. He is the man to beat. All the athletes are vying for position here in this pose down. There's Greg Randall definitely throwing his weight around in there. And I'll tell you what, it looks like he's going to be successful as he muscles his way through the back right up front. Listen to that audience, man. This is exactly what they came here to see. And they certainly have a lot of muscle to cheer for. Five Norris hitting a lat spread in the purple trunks. Looks outstanding. Hitting a back double bicep. Kelly Gant right there. You can see it. Tommy, nice symmetry. Needs to be hard. Steve certainly getting this far as one of the top five in the light heavyweight division here at the Team Universe Championship is a tremendous accomplishment. These athletes have had to battle their way through a pack of perhaps more than 20 or even 30 athletes to get this far. All of them deserve to be applauded. However, only one will win here and go on to represent the USA at the Worlds. This is a tough moment for the athletes and the judges. They're making their final decisions, but the athletes have to wait it out. The waiting game is the most difficult. Up to this point, the adrenaline has been pumping, and right now, it's just, whew, have I done my homework? Am I going to make it? Well, and for fifth place finalist, Clyde Norris, at least he'll live to fight another day, but it's not going to be today that's going to be his. Oh, absolutely, Tommy. You know he'll be back here n next year because he's come this far today. In fourth place, Kelly Gant has all it takes, just needs to be a little sharper. Look at these top three. From left to right, Jeff, Sean, and Gregory. They are, oh, there it is. That little bit of water retention cost Sean a placing. He's dropped down to third place, Steve. That has to be disappointing, as good as it is. 
that leaves the top two. Man alive, what an awesome competition. Gregory Randa on the right takes second place. That makes the winner of the light heavyweight division, Jeff Willett, Steve. What a fantastic performance. Look at that physique. Jeff Willett had to win this class, Tommy. He has everything it takes to walk away a light heavyweight champion, and he did. The muscularity, the development, definition, he meets all the MPC criteria. And if you do that, you can't help but win. Even though Greg Rando took second place, he is still an underdog. But if he makes the improvement that he has made year after year for this Team Universe competition, he just might take it next year.